everybody, it's Wendy Cranford. I am here today to show you how to make this adorable card. Let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is the awesome new magnetic plate. This is a plate we're selling now. It's $39.95. It's a magnet. It goes into the big shot this way. And then you just need your clear plastic plates. And it coordinates with our framelits. And this is, by the way, how I store my framelits in an art bin. These are magnetic sheets. And that's how I store my framelits. Okay? So I'm just going to pull one out so I can show you. As you can see, they stick very well. There we go. I want to show you how this magnetic plate works. And I'm going to use a piece of tangerine tango to cut so you can see really well. So the first thing you do is you're just going to put down your clear plate and this is obviously well used and you've got your magnetic platform underneath. You're going to lay your paper on top and I want you to listen. I don't know if you can hear this. Can you hear that click? It sticks to there really well. This magnetic plate is very strong. And then you're just going to move it over here. You see it doesn't shift around at all. It holds it in place. Even when I put this down and smash, there's no shifting. Except for my whole platform shifted. Um, and then you just run it through like you normally would. And you have your new out. And these are the Deco Label Framelits, by the way, which I am featuring on my card today. So the magnetic plate is amazing. The only thing is if you have any sort of heart condition where you're wearing a pacemaker or anything like that, it is a very large magnetic plate, so you may want to check with your doctor first. Okay, so now that's out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and get started making our card. This is the one we're making. I'm going to set it off here to the side. I have a piece of eight and a half by four and a quarter paper here. You can't really see because I'm on working on a black surface. So I'm just folding that in half so that I have a card that opens like this. Okay. And then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to use some snail adhesive to throw it down here. And then I have another piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at the same size to go inside. Because with it being a black surface, obviously it's going to be difficult to write on unless you're using a white pen. Okay, and then we're just going to layer our real red. This is cut at um, three and three quarters by five. And this is the new Designer Series I Am Me paper. I absolutely love this paper. I do have a paper share going. It's $20 for 66 pieces of 6x6 six six paper. You're going to get a new sheet of every single piece, a 6x6 six six sheet. So if you're interested in that paper share, hop on over to my blog. Um, I'll provide the link below in the description also, I'm working really hard towards the Achievers Award with Stampin' Up. So if you're interested in helping me out in achieving that, I need orders. And um, all the details for that are on my blog also. So I'm just using the scallop punch here, order punch, to scallop my edges of this paper. And as you can see, I scalloped all three on this one. Here I'm just going to do the top one for time purposes. So I'm just going to add some adhesive here. And these pieces are cut at one and a half by five so that they would fit right onto the red. layering 
those down and then I'm just going to add this one last and I'm going to layer it here just like this. Okay, and then I've already pre-cut out of the deco label the smallest and second to the smallest and those are going to go here. And those are out of the big shot. And then I'm using one of our new stamp sets called Sketched Birthday. Super cute. I love this stamp set. And I just have a piece of Whisper White here. And we're going to stamp twice. Once with Real Red and once with Pool Party. I'm sure you've seen this technique done for the punching. And then I'm just going to clean my stamp off and then stamp in the Pool Party. Okay. Um, I got Soft Sky out <laughs> instead of Pool Party. Oops. Okay, that's cool. We'll go with Soft Sky. I'm flexible. Okay, so we're just going to punch with the scallop punch. And this is the one and three quarter inch. And all of my details um, will be on my blog and and at the end of this video if you're interested in purchasing any of these products. All right, and then this is the one and one quarter inch punch that I'm just punching out the center of that stamp. Let's get my card back over here. And we're just gonna, for time purposes, I'm throwing a single dimensional on the back of each of these. Um, I will go back later and add more dimensionals because these are big pieces. I don't think one is enough. Okay, so there's that layer. And then Excuse me, I have a little bit of a allergies going on, so I'm sniffly today. And then you'll just add this. There you go. There's your super cute card. And then I did it also with dots. So you could punch like that and do the card that way as well. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.